The fossil we are preparing here is a large Harposerus ammonite. You can see the edge of the ammonite protruding through some of the limestone. It's been laid there for so long that modern day sea creatures had attached themselves to this fossil. We start off with the air pneumatic pen to remove the bulk of the matrix. Similar to the crinoid, the more delicate work is done with the air abrasive. This can remove tiny pieces of shale in between the ribs of the ammonite, which are typically very delicate. Every now and again, the air abrasive tool stops working and we have to conduct a little bit of maintenance. Here we are filling the air abrasive cylinder back up with the powder. And this is the powder that's fired out from the tool to remove much of the matrix. With the quick bit of maintenance done, we are now back up and running and can continue the preparation. This next tool, after the air pneumatic pen, is a type of grinder which helps make the matrix a lot smoother so we can get deeper inside and expose the ribs much deeper down towards the centre of the ammonite. There's only about 30 to 60 minutes left of preparation on this specimen before it's fully finished. After some more fossil hunting now, we're going to then head back into the workshop one more time in today's video and have a look at the preparation of some ichthyosaur vertebrae. We can't wait to show you many more types of fossils being prepared in the workshop in upcoming videos. It's quite surreal to think that we started off with that large limestone rock and in a matter of hours prepared out this really cool specimen which is now preserved for the rest of time for so many people to enjoy. We have lots of other exciting projects in the works and we can't wait to show you them.